you feel it, don't you? Something there in the room with you. You don't really know what it is, but you can sense it. You can feel it crawling around. A chill in the air. But you can't escape it. And suddenly you realize just how alone you are. <laughs> Curve! A short horror film that we're all going to... <laughs> what am I trying to say? Lodestone Films presents... Curve! Or just water. Oh, she, uh, she had blood on her head. Now she got blood in her hand. Why do we keep seeing water, though? What does it mean? Where are some Chuck T's? Heck yeah. Good luck running away in those, though. They have no foot support. You're not gonna make it very far. It's like running in bare feet. What are you, a hobbit? Wakey, wakey, sleepy head. You're in a dungeon. Oh, much worse. Oh, much, much worse. Oh, God, that's scary. Oh, don't move. Stay there and either wait for help or death. <laughs> Oh man, there's a lot of them. Do you think they washed in there from water? This is like a whole system, like all the way across. It's almost like a, a wall that you use to like dampen water flow. Maybe that's why we're seeing water a lot. Oh, and your leg is bent. This is probably the thing that's saving you, by the way. The Chuck T's! <laughs> okay, that's infinitely worse. <laughs> You're in a precarious position, and now there's a blue whale underneath you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you're getting out of that. Wait, that wasn't it, was it? No. Oh, it's just the beginning. <laughs> I thought that was it. I mean, what do you do in this scenario? There's nothing you can do. <sighs> Bet you wish you had some like Nikes or something on, something with a bit more grip, like basketball shoes. Actually, a lot of people play basketball in Converse. <laughs> Oh, don't turn around. No, 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 no. The natural curve in your back is what's keeping you alive right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Let it take me. If I was in that position, I know for a fact that I would panic, I would slip, and wee all the way down to the bottom, dead. You have way more patience than I do. Your head is bleeding though, and you have blood in your hand, so clearly you were like dropped here. Oh, 
Oh, that leg's gonna be sore. Oh! Ew! Gross! Why are you doing that? You have bigger problems! Yeah, just stick them back together. <laughs> I thought she was going to put them in her mouth. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, she's trying again. wrong with her chest? She keeps grabbing it. Oh, maybe she's just like drying off and cooling her hands and stuff. Maybe the sticky blood will help though, like Spider-Man. Okay, here we go again. You got this. You can do it, I believe in you. Is your leg straight now? Nope. <laughs> I think her hands just hurt. I'm trying to hold on all the time. I get it. The sheer grip strength needed. Good job, good job. Is that why she's bleeding? Because her hands are, like, locked into it. Oh no, this is not the first person. That is horrifically demotivating, but also kind of sick. there now easy there calm it down now wait it's the blood was dripping the blood like across from her so it's still fresh <laughs> People are falling all over the place! You can do this, you got this. You're stronger than all of them. You're powerful. You've got webbed fingers like sp Oh, Spider-Man doesn't have webbed fingers, but you know what I mean. There you go. Oh, no. You're not gonna fall, you're not like them. There's so many of them. Oh no, it's gonna rain. Oh no! Oh god! This is the worst! I mean, at least you're- you can get some water and you're not gonna die of thirst, but um... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, just stick to it. Keep the dry patches. Oh no! Oh, my heart sinks every time! I know it hurts, but it's so much worse to die. <laughs> How is that going to help? I don't know if 
that would help! <laughs> would it create more friction? Oh no. Oh no! That's it! No! I wanna know what happened to Laura Jane Turner! Come on! You can't leave it there! That stinks! Ow! That was awesome. I highly enjoyed that one. That was clever, original. I actually like felt myself like sink every time something happened. And it just gives you enough that you don't really need to know. Like, is this a game that some people are playing? Were they put there by somebody? Your brain just comes up with all these ideas. Very, very cool. Well done. Oh, this one's called Guest, and I'm sticking it into a four-wheel drive here, baby. Let's go. Okay, damn, this is 4.4 million views. All right, Finn, let's see what you got. Oh, God, I hate that. Oh, that triggered, like, fight or flight in me. My chest got all tight and, like, a wave of anxiety went over me. That is loud. Oh, it's supposed to be like tinnitus, okay. I... this is... ugh. I feel like I need to pop my ears. This feels like my actual tinnitus. What is happening? Oh, they need a hearing aid. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Oh, my ears feel so weird all of a sudden. Oh, it's like my tonight has got lifted. Oh, I wish I could do that. Right now, I just have... All the time. Forever. Can you hear me now? There we go. How did you get inside my house? Oh. I found you in my bathroom this morning. How did you get inside my house? That's cool. So she's the guest. Mary? Is your name Mary? I need you to listen to me. I found your wallet and I just want to make sure. Is your name Mary? Wait, so does she arrive? Are you hungry? Like this? Are you thirsty? With the bandages and the eye patch? If you've got any allergies, I can... I can make you something. It doesn't say on here. Do you have any allergies? Is there anyone that you want me to call? Your mum? Anyone? Dude, what is going on? No one. Do you remember what happened? Last night? Do you remember what happened last night? Mary, what happened last night? Oh, something's got your eyes widening. <laughs> what is chasing you? Or what are you running away from? So did she just like run to that house as the first... Like at running away from something is the first house she found, she just ran into it. Okay, no bandages, no eye patch. Oh, I've had dreams like this. Where I'm running away from something trying to kill me. And I like run into the nearest house. Okay. 
Not the safest thing in the world to keep a key under a pot outside your house. It's like... You've seen it a million times. Everyone's going to check there first. Mary, it's a- Oh, what? <laughs> My God! He like, he looked like a Simpsons character. He's a big giant white eyeballs with two dots in the middle of them. Yes. Good job, Mary. Don't even wait for him to show up again. Go looking for him. You know how in these things you always like hide in a closet or something and you wait for them and then you make your move? No, be proactive. The enemy is not expecting that. You gotta go get them. He was standing outside. Go find him. Stab him. Or maybe he's just asking for directions or asking about your car's extended warranty. I really like these um, camera following shots. Well, there's the bath you ended up in. But how did you get covered in bandages? Yeah, stay vigilant. And close the- oh! Whoa! You should have closed the door! Yeah, that's gonna work. Mary, you're not six years old. Stab him! What was the point of getting the knife? <laughs> Mary! <laughs> <laughs> that is so freaky! Maybe he wants a hug. Give him a hug. And then... You know? Bleach. What is happening? This is all oddly, like, calm. Oh, you put bleach in your own eyes! an established thing. Like, not being able to see them makes them go away. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna stab yourself in the ear, are you? here where I feel like the knife could have been used against that thing. It's got big eyes, bigger targets. Throw the bleach in his eyes. Did you know that this would work? Oh no, it's back. Ah, ah, ah. Stop. Cut to present day again, please. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, look, doctors will be here in a minute. They'll know the best way to handle this. 
I'm going now. I'm gonna leave the room, but I'll come back. And so is Mr. Eyeballs. Peter Peep Show is gonna come back in the room. <laughs> What if you can smell him now? Are you gonna have to cut off your nose? Don't do it. Don't do it. You're just gonna end up back at zero again. I don't know if you'd be able to see much the day after putting bleach in your eyes. Oh, well, come on, Mary, is he back? Oh, God, it's worse than before. He looks like a thumb. <laughs> a thumb with eyes. But they're also not doing anything to you. They're just hanging out. Maybe they want to play Xbox. Want to play Halo? They did it to themselves. They have no ears, and their eyes are messed up from seeing stuff. Um, <laughs> what is with all of these just ending abruptly? Also, don't do this in the captions. Stop putting your own flavor, unless it's the people who actually did it. But if these are fan submitted and you did this, I don't like that. So there's a lot of talk about mental stuff going on with this. It's really interesting to see it like manifest the self-harm that appeared because of what they were seeing. I'm trying to be careful of my words here because I don't want to bring up terminology if that's not what it's about. It did have a disclaimer at the start of it. So yes, if you are going through anything and you do need someone to talk to, please reach out to absolutely anybody because there is always somebody out there who will listen to anything you're going through, no matter what you think it is or the fact that no one's there for you. There is always someone there for you, whether it be personal or professional, someone will listen. So please reach out and talk to somebody. So this one is called Vesuvius, Silent Terror. Vesuvius is a volcano. People claim to have witnessed apparitions of the Virgin Mary. However, Catholic doctrine claims that the era of public apparition ended with the death of the last apostle. Or probably the internet. This is me doing papers, please. Just, yep, you're accepted, in you go. No, detained. What's she doing? Oh, that's a cool shot. I like that. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, enjoying the video? That's cool. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> oh. Horror stuff has trained me to know that if any sound happens, so. It's probably just your mother or grandmother upstairs. It's nothing scary at all. Surrounded by a ton of religious figures. <laughs> Can't grab it because it's CG, bro. Uh, God, why are you not doing anything now? <laughs> ah! Are you smiling? What's wrong with you?
<laughs> We're actually gonna gag. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, God almighty. Oh, yum, yummy. Ooh, grandson special. <laughs> That's probably why you're sick. Oh, God, you rub so hard that she's bleeding. Ow. Did you know that he made cigarette bugger casserole? And he has a fly inside him? Maybe there are multiple depictions of the Virgin Mary because to me She's always in like a blue and white gown Oh god See that's what you were like to the your friend earlier Hey guys, how's it going? I hope that you're doing well. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you. Okay. This is a weird one. Breaking in somewhere? Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's that lady from before. They're now even creepier. That's it. Whenever I come back from anything anymore, I'm checking every corner of my house. That's a really good shot as well. tell you to do that? Oh! 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 Why? Why though? How do you explain that? Mary showed up in my dream so I was like, oh, gotta kill. Uh oh. Something's dead or decaying near you. Oh, Jesus, stop doing that! I wonder if they're actually saying something. That ain't Virgin Mary. <laughs> I've never seen Virgin Mary with hooves. Oh, not the grandmother or mother or whatever she is to you. Oh, so cool.
don't do it. Oh no. People came to a witness apparition for okay. Most of the time, the apparition is not a visitation of a holy being, but rather a demon in disguise. Oh! You gotta look at the feet, man. Classic sign of Virgin Mary, blue gown, white, kind of like headdress, maybe carrying a baby Jesus. Definitely no hooves. Actually, maybe I'm wrong. I've never seen pictures of Virgin Mary's feet. That was really good. The, the visual language in that one was really well done. The sort of symbolism that was in it. He like stood up in the middle of all the religious figures, but he was covering a picture of Jesus. It was kind of like a demonology kind of thing going on. That was really well done. Also, not a single word spoken. I mean, other than the demon whispering in his ear, but that was really cool. Okay, last one. We've got a film called Cookie. We've seen some good ones today. <laughs> Damn, production value's off the charts on this one. Nice house. Like a burial. In the road. Every time I see TVs like that. Driver, what is it? Driver, what is it? <laughs> Driver, what is it? He's going to sacrifice himself. Every time I see people with TVs like that on the wall, you're like this looking at it. You're gonna hurt your neck. Men steal dead bodies. So they dig the grave in the middle of the road. Their people pass all the time. That's a cheerful uh, introduction. Oh, are you gonna get caught red-handed stealing cookies and the demon's gonna come bite your hand off? Yes. She answered. <laughs> Zombies! Just take like five and go. There's gonna be some serious hey. karma. Hey. Oh my god, Jesse, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. How was she? Oh, she was great. She's just in a coma now from all the sugar she had. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, okay. Great. Okay, thanks again. Thank you. What is going on with your face? Nothing. How many cookies did you eat? I only had one. <laughs> one? That's a lot of crumbs for one cookie. I only had one. Uh-oh, you're gonna you know, get hurt. I actually counted every cookie in that cookie jar. And if you did only have one, like I said, there should be exactly 13 cookies in that jar. You didn't count them. You don't know. Tell the truth. Just tell the truth and demon won't come and bite your fingers off. One. Two. <laughs> He's watching. <laughs> this is our new cookie jar. I do not like it. <laughs> well, then don't put your hand in it. This cookie jar is for adults only. Any time that a child has stolen a cookie from this jar... <sighs> Why would you bring that home? If what is happening? Did I just pass out and miss something? That kid's right. What is wrong with you, Mom? You're a terrible parent. Bree, no more cookies. Okay. He's gonna come to life. He's gonna chase you around the house. That cookie jar is gonna bite back. How many kids did you eat? I only had one. Also, what kind of kid watches movies from like the 1920s? <laughs> There are no appliances in that kitchen. That's terrifying. This is the scariest thing so far. You just can't help yourself, can you, child? That's it. She's done. Pack it in. 
And you did it while maintaining eye contact. You are so dead. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, I knew it. Yes, as old Pierre said. You're gonna be like Cookie Monster for Sesame Street. He's gonna come out and kill you. What are you watching? Oh, he was in the movie. That's cool. I mean, oh no, it's scary. This Mom. child, child had it coming. I'm trying to see now if the clown is anywhere else in the scenes. I love hidden stuff in scenes like this, where I can like, look for them all the time. Oh no, an empty bed. Mummy dearest? That's your mother, then we have bigger problems. Do it, see what happens. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, God, tonight is again. Ah. Is that a throwback to The Shining? That looked like when Wendy is like shaking Danny. Or not, not when he's, sh he's shaking Danny, but when he's like staring down the hall and he's just like screaming in silence. It looked... I don't know, it reminded me of that. Did that doll's eyes move? Oh, I'm seeing things. Are you gonna be okay? Is he there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, well, you know where my room is if you need me. Kid's bed looks like it's about 14 miles from that door. You all right? All right, good night! <laughs> that room is a nightmare already. I think there's a lesson to be learned here, which is just stay where you're supposed to stay and stop venturing everywhere or you'll get killed. So did she dream all that with the clown or was that actually, did that actually happen, I wonder? I love these sound effects. Where are you? <laughs> He's facing the stairs. <laughs> you gotta put a pillowcase over him.
supervising this child ever. Yeah, let's throw him out. Just smash him off the ground. There you go. Nice. Just taking it into our own hands. I don't know why you needed to go so far away from the house to do this. She should have had a cool line like, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I, I would have done that. Ah, uh, all is right in the world. Nature is healing. He's going to be back in the... <laughs> Bree, where's the cookie jar? I don't know. You don't know? No. Bree, did you take the cookie jar? No. Smashed. Sent to the Shadow Realm. Out, Bree. Well, no more cookies in the house then? No more cookies. Mom of the year. Uh oh. <laughs> hey. Hey. How was she today? Oh, she's, you know, she's painting. Okay, well, we're still good. For she was Thursday, great. Right? Possessed oh, by no, the no, devil. She didn't know she was going to work. Okay, well, uh, I have your buddy here. here. Just, it's fine. Just yes, yeah, send it to no, the no, Okay, I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> hey, you really freaked out the babysitter. What are you drawing? Hi, honey. Hi, mom. Wow, another masterpiece. Come on, it's way past your bedtime. Wait. <laughs> Little Bob Ross. Oh, God. <laughs> what? I love you, monkey. I love you too, mother. Is everything good? Yep. <laughs> okay. Night, honey. What is happening? Good night. <laughs> wow, that's what happens. You eat too many cookies, you become friends with a demon clown. If you're gonna be hanging around me all the time, trying to kill me constantly, we might as well just be best friends. That's what you do. You become best friends with your demon. Then that demon doesn't want to kill you anymore. Has a friend. That one wasn't as scary. That was just more goofy than anything. But I still highly enjoyed it. It was awesome. I love the design of that clown dude. But that's gonna do it for me. Let me know down in the comments below which one scared you the most. Which was your favorite out of these? I don't know which one was my favorite. Maybe the curve one? Because I think just the simplicity of that mixed with like how much my imagination worked after that I think was cool. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.